right is a 16 foot bordon pipe, a stopped pipe from an organ. And it goes with the organ pipe doorbell here, uh, which consists of 26 pipes, including the super big monster. This guy draws too much air and it's a resonator. So I thought, what if I hook up a speaker to it and resonate it at the frequency at which it wants to run? Let's find out. Here is a 32 and a half hertz sine wave. The speaker goes bonkers. Now let's listen to the board on. Indeed, it rumbles loudly. 32 and a half hertz. We can turn it off and turn it back on. Incidentally, you do hear some noise from the speaker uh, air just not sealing right here, but it does a tremendous job at making that board on pipe come to life. That means I don't need to use extra air to drive that monstrosity. All right, we're going to use uh, REW here to measure the frequency spectrum produced by this pipe. As expected, you've got quite a bit of resonant peaks, 32 hertz, the, th the uh, third harmonic, and here is, uh, let's see, about 170 hertz. It's spot on at 100. So this is the fundamental at uh, 32.6. And it keeps going up from there, so all kinds of different modes. The stopped pipe here has a mouth where the air comes up and uh, then the, the sound wave goes and hits the stopper and bounces back down. Now because there's a stopper here, there can be no air velocity there. So we know that there is going to be a dead null there at that point. And down here at the mouth, there will be air velocity, so we can draw, if this is a velocity, uh, that we have some velocity here that's not zero, and we have zero velocity here on the line. And the length here, if you extend this, uh, this is a quarter wave, quarter wavelength uh, for this fundamental mode here. And uh, so this is the first harmonic. Can't get any lower than that. Now, again, for the next highest harmonic, we'll have another null here. And we'll have a null somewhere in the middle, probably. So in this case, we have to have a non-zero velocity at the mouth. So we're going to have a null right there. And if you were to extend that, you'd have another null here and another null down here somewhere. This is the third harmonic. One null for the first harmonic, two nulls makes the third harmonic because of the mirror image symmetry. We can't have a second harmonic. Now in this pipe, it is an open pipe, and I've drawn it twice as long because it needs to be twice as long. In this case, uh, again, we have air velocity here at the mouth, and we have air velocity at the open end. It's not stoppered, so it's not a null here. Now we'll have uh, a positive velocity somewhere here, and we'll have a, uh, a negative velocity on the other end because of the phase shift, and somewhere in the middle we have the null. This is the first, the fundamental uh, frequency. It's now a half wave resonator, and now we can also have a case where we have velocity positive velocity both ends and uh, we have a crossing here for a null and a crossing here for a null. This is the second harmonic. Now we can actually support a second harmonic in this pipe. And then as before uh, we have a case where we've got negative velocity and positive velocity and this time we're going to have three nulls in the pipe. Not drawn to scale here but this will be the third harmonic. Now so the open pipe can support uh, all harmonics N, whereas the stoppered pipe can only support odd harmonics.